Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Miniard. This is a new 135 scale kit which copies BMR1, Ukrainian version with KMT9 and I can call it or we can call it as a combo kit because you can get BMR1 and also KMT9 uh, as a separate kits. But here you get them combined into one, so you won't have to get them as a separate models if you still plan to build them. And now we have a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you see here in this video review. So first of all, box is quite heavy, even though this is a typical mini art box size. Here you can see this nice box art, and here you can see comparison with my hand. Then on this side we have some information about the kit and also safety devices, also barcode and address of the manufacturer. And on the other side we have four marking options which are included into this kit. Um, those are quite interesting ones because as you can see we have UN, we also have another one with interesting writing in Russian. But we will take a closer look at them when we will be checking the assembly manual. Now let's open it. It's a top opening box and just give me a second, I will try to open it. Okay, so here is what we have inside. As you can see, this is a quite a tight packaging, it's almost up to the lid. So be careful with this and if you have a chance to check all those parts before the purchase, better do it because now you might end up with some not pleasant surprises, let's say. Okay, so we move it aside. As usual for mini art, we have sealed plastic bag, so that's why I will need scissors in order to open it. Just give me a sec. And overall, I can see that there is a huge amount of parts, and basically, that's why mini art stopped writing the parts amount numbers because they were getting higher and higher, and some others were afraid of such huge digits. So here we have separate um, envelope with P thread and also separate plastic bag with decals and clear parts. We will check them later in this video review. I would like to start with plastic parts. So let's move it over here. And I will try to carefully slide out the first plastic sprue. And we will take a look at what is molded there. So it's not that easy because of the huge amount of small frames and you know my opinion about this, it's not that cool feature I would say. So here we have first plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to various hull parts and as you can see it is separated into several panels, obviously the glazes plate features the uh, plain surface because there is no main gun and here we have the turret. This one I'm not sure what is this, I guess that will be the lower section. And inside we don't have anything interesting in my opinion, only those dots. I guess they will be used for, uh, you will have to drill them and then you will have to use them in order to install all external equipment. We can zoom in a bit more so that you can see those turret parts for example. Here you can see also the hull parts. And molding quality seems to be fine, note that the attachment points are also quite thin, so I don't think you will have any problems, but be careful with stuff like this, because it might be easy to break it. So I would rather use the plastic saw and then clean those parts, but it will be up to you how you will approach such design of the parts placement, but you can see what you will have to encounter. Okay, so that was the first plastic sprue. Next we go on with another one and here we have the side skirts, also the mud guards here, uh, various hatches as far as you can see and also here you can see the engine bay cover which is molded nicely with throughout holes so you won't have to cut anything. Now it is already prepared for installation. Here you can see those parts from the other side. Now, on this part we have minor amount of flesh but it's nothing serious and it can be easily cleaned with sharp knife. Next we have parts, I guess those ones will be used for the KMT9. So here you can see that it is a separate plastic sprue. And again molding quality looks fine. 
uh, note the small parts there are still some parts even though we have this huge frame parts molded as a one piece elements so you have to work with them obviously it won't be an easy job to do but uh, the final result should look good at least okay next we have those parts for the beam R1 let's zoom in a bit more now you should be able to see it so just like in any other uh, mini art kit here we get the separately molded hatches so you can open them but keep in mind that this is a not a interior kit so we don't have anything inside and I'm not sure what you will be exposing by opening those hatches next we have first plastic sprue with uh, suspension parts and note that here we have already the first sign of the tight packaging because as you can see the drive sprocket part is slightly broken off why? Because, uh, because of the tight packaging. And as you can see, those attachment points, they are placed between the teeth. So you have to be careful while separating this part of the sprue, because otherwise you might end up damaging them. But at least there is some space between uh, this attachment point and teeth. So it should be relatively easy to do this. And here you can see those parts from the other side. Okay, next we go on with another sprue for BMR and here again we have separately molded hatches here and know that handles are pre-molded so we can guess that will be the first target for aftermarket producers we also have these thin um, lines which will be used on the external equipment and I can guess that professionals will replace them with metal wire because otherwise you might end up losing your time trying to uh, carefully separate it, then clean it, then install it. It's just easier to use the metal wire of the, th of the same length, place it on the tank and be good to go. And of course you can replicate some damage with metal parts, with this it will be a bit difficult. Okay, next we have small plastic bag with track parts so obviously we have here separate track links and of course it will be a tedious process because uh, there are no separate track links which are easy to build and if you want to argue about this right in the comment section below but in my opinion that's a reasonable price to pay because the final result should be notably uh, better than what we can get with typical vinyl parts and of course those parts should be easier to paint, to weather and they should give you the more convincing model as a result. Okay, I will remove only one link and here you can see that we have the separate track links and also we have the separate um, pins which will be inserted from both sides so we can guess it will be workable track out of those parts but again I don't see any jig for the assembly of this part so you will have to do it with your own tools and hands okay another plastic sprue is huge amount of small parts and I'm not even sure where these parts will go I can guess they will be used for the suspension parts but it's not cool in my opinion to have a lot of sprues here is another one for example it's the same type but still we get two of the same type even though they could have been molded into one large plastic sprue. So as I, would, as I started to say it's not that good to have a lot of small plastic sprues because I know many modellers who actually lost their sprues because of this size as you can see this actually here we have even smaller as you can see. So obviously it is easier to have one large sprue than to have a lot of similar small frames and then lose one and you will be good to go. So here you can see also some external elements for BMR1. Molding quality seems to be fine and as you remember there were two pieces of this type. Then we have another double here. So those parts will be used to... Actually these are not similar sprues but I saw somewhere Absolutely identical. Nevertheless, so here you can see again we have separately molded hatches. We also have some suspension parts, and those parts will be placed on the road wheels, obviously. Okay. Next, we get 
Uh, again, two absolute identical plastic frames. These ones are dedicated to mix of various parts. So, for example, here we have the shovel, and then next we have some suspension parts. Note those thin elements. Be sure not to lose any of them, because I can guess they will be used for the tracks as well. And you will have to place them somehow on your model, and if you lose one, then you will have to fix it with your own uh, material, let's say. Next we have this small plastic frame with drive sprocket parts and also idlers. And again, molding quality seems to be fine, even though here in the middle you can see um, quite notable amount of flesh, which should be cleaned. And here you can see these parts from the other side, again flesh here and here. That is quite surprising because kit is relatively young, let's say relatively new. By the way, here we have two more sprues of the same type as we saw before. So as I said, it's a relatively new kit and we already uh, see flash on the parts. So it's quite unusual in my opinion. Nevertheless, just to remind you, there are two plastic sprues of this type. Next we have another one. And here we get one, two, three, four. Well, I can see four, but I can guess there are more of them. Anyway, so here we have four plastic sprues, at least what I found at the moment. So as you can see here, we have suspension arms and also some minor suspension elements. And those suspension arms should be glued out of two halves, as you can see we have guiding pins inside. Okay, and next we have the same type of the sprue as we saw before. One more quite numerous plastic frame type is here, as you can see we have the road wheels and I still wonder who does have a car alarm in 2019. It's quite unusual I would say. Nevertheless, now I hope it does not uh, confuse you because here we have road wheels, as you can see each road wheel should be glued out of two halves and again we have some guiding elements inside which should help you with proper assembly and next we get one more plastic sprue with road wheels. Here we have flesh in the road wheels, so as you can see that's slightly different sprue. But jokes aside, as you can see the layout of those sprues is different. Because here we have some extra pieces. Okay, uh, next... By the way, because road wheels are molded, basically one road wheel per frame, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, six frames of this small size, but that's not all because we have one, two, three, and four frames additional frames with road wheels. So in total 10 frames dedicated only to road wheels. That is not cool. Here we have parts for the KMT9 and if you thought that it's only one plastic sprue, no. Here we have one, two, three and four. So four plastic sprues just for the KMT9. Okay, but that's not all because we have more similar plastic sprues and here we have we saw already this type, I guess. It was somewhere on the top. So we have one, two, three, and four was before. Okay, and last but not the least is actually this frame should be familiar to you as well. Here we get the bigger plastic frame. Let's zoom out a bit. So those parts will be used for the lower half. half and as you can see it should be glued out of separate uh, panels. We have quite nicely detailed bottom of this vehicle. Also note here the folded tarp and overall molding quality looks nice and should be easy to separate from this sprue but of course be careful with the uh, alignment of these parts because you might end up with something wrong easily but usually mini art kits are easy to assemble even if they're uh, separated like this. 
so just be sure to keep an eye on such features would say. Okay, next we have another plastic bag. This one is dedicated to clear plastic screws and also decals sheet. So here we have clear frames. There are two of them, no surprise. Let's zoom in a bit. Here we have various periscopes and also lenses for the headlamps. And molding quality looks really good. Of course, there are no masks included, so you will have to cut them with your own hands or maybe search for some aftermarket kit. Next we have decals. Decals are printed in Decograph. Let's zoom out a bit. And printing quality looks quite fine, but I am not sure about those blue dots here and there. It's quite unusual, but uh, at least they're not on the symbols, so we are not, I would say, influenced by this. Next we have, as you remember, the small envelope with P thread. I just wonder what is... Oh, there are several P threads. Okay. So both are unpainted P threads and both will be used for the external detailing here. You can see them. Uh, size of those parts is really small. So here definitely you will need the uh, tweezers. Here you can see comparison with my fingertip, for example. Those are quite small parts. And of course, be sure not to lose any of those. And last but not the least is the assembly manual. But before assembly manual check up, let's say, now let me remind you that you can support us in order to get the new camera. Just go to our website, click the donate button and choose the amount you would like to send us via PayPal. And all this money we will be able to gather, they will be used for the new camera because as you remember my old one broke and now I'm just borrowing the camera from a friend and it means that we will be having the video reviews with some breaks because this camera is not always available. Okay, so here you can see the assembly manual, it is printed in color, we have here a short uh, features list. Next we have marking guides, surprisingly, as you can see, vehicles shown from both sides, here we have two marking options. Okay, next is a parts map. We go on with assembly process, so everything starts with a lower half, as you can see, inside we will have some separate walls, but just to remind you there is no interior detailing, so don't hope that you will get, for example, engine or something else. Note that many holes will have to be drilled out, so you will have, the, you will have to use the drill bit. Here we install the superstructure on this vehicle, then we continue with external panels and hatches. Here we work on these openable hatches, as you remember they were molded separately, uh, here you work on the engine bay cover because there will be separate slats panels and next from the step 28 you start to assemble the to assemble the turret and as far as you can see there are several types available so you can choose either this one or this one and it will be up to you which one no actually you cover this turret with this part and then you have this quite interesting design. Here we continue with suspension parts, then you assemble the tracks and as you can see each track um, contains 91 part and there is also the special way how to simplify the assembly process but still I would rather recommend to have an assembly jig. Then we continue with uh, detailing up the vehicle with help of separately molded plastic parts and also P threads. Here we have the armor, external armor which will be covering the uh, suspension. Next we continue with minor P parts. The same you can see here, spare tracks and various parts which will be actually used to install the KMT9. Here are towing cables and note that cable will have to be sourced from your now parts because it is not included into this kit and also here you have the possibility to assemble this vehicle without the mine roller but I just wonder why would you get this kit if you are going to assemble it without mine roller. Nevertheless here we go on with um, KMT9 assembly as you can see there is also quite an interesting process and that's why it is sold as a single kit as well. 
and again you have to source the towing cable for this uh, part of the vehicle next we have here the final steps so it's installation of the mine roller and here we have the marking guide for third marking option and here is marking guide for the fourth marking option as you can see this one comes from Ukraine January 2019 so quite a detailed plastic kit even though this is not an interior kit we get a lot of parts and you have to work with all this stuff and in my opinion this will look good with some um, let's say careful weathering and painting applied on the vehicle and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit write it here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel so that you won't miss any new video review and I will see you in the next video review as usual bye